And what mind games? What's going through his mind? Will he put it to the same spot? Or will Coffey go for that spot? He puts it to the other side. Genius. Cool as you like. Abubakar. Second penalty for Cameroon. Gives the Indomitable Lions a 2-1 lead. Is clumsy. But the ball had gone. Once again, stop start. He is the master of that approach. And look, he's not even looking. Keeps his eye on the goalkeeper. Well, you possibly could say Abubakar against Coffey. Abubakar. 1 1. No doubt about that. Goalkeeper went the wrong way. Abubakar, as cool as a cucumber. Now has an assist at both ends. If you see what I mean. Stop start approach by Abubakar. Cometh the hour, cometh the man. For Eric Traore with his first touch of the game. Long ball forward. Farid Rodrago has gone up and the ball has been put in the back of the net. Is it going to be a foul? Or will Vincent Abubakar have his eighth goal of the campaign and Cameroon be level? To show that kind of emotion, long ball forward. Farid Wadrago goes over his own player. And Cameroon a level 3-3. Incredible scenes here. No foul. Vincent Abubakar was just there to pick up the pieces. Astonishing. Astonishing. What a finale. There's a problem here for Bertrand Traore. He's already strapped up. Ball comes in, and there is the goal. The goalkeeper lost it that time. And it's the top scorer in the competition, Vincent Abubakar, who scores his seventh goal of the campaign. For a potential foul, I think. Well, there's no foul, so did it cross the, the byline and then loop back in again? Is it an obvious error? Three, two. Oui. Chance here for Abubakar, goal number five of the tournament. And the big man is carrying his country into the quarterfinals. Half chance for a striker of his quality. You know what's going to happen. Vansa Abubakar puts Cameroon into the lead. They haven't looked particularly sharp in the game today, but set piece, loose ball. No second invitation needed. It's a left-footed finish as well from Abu Bakr. Three defenders. The clearing header was not a bad one from uh, Dini Borges. But look at Abu Bakr. Along the ground in the back of the classic striker's goal. And you can see why he is so valuable to his country. Leading from the front is Vansal Abubakar. Anguissa is the property of Fulham, who play in the championship in uh, England, but is on loan at Napoli this season. Now, here they come, the indomitable lines, three weight in the middle, including Abubakar. What power on that header. So simple. You don't give this man Opportunities like that, he will punish you. And Vansan Abubakar has already got three goals now in this tournament. Vansan Abubakar, 
Look how easy it was, though. It just floated up there. He got super power on that header. Once again, Collins Fai provides the cross, as he did for the goal from uh, Toko Ikambe. Well, you wonder if Ethiopia's defence might have done a little bit better. Both uh, the two centre-backs who allowed the space for uh, Abu Baka and the goalkeeper, but that header came in with uh, lots of power and precision as well. And uh... In Nations Cup history, that the hosts have met a debutant in the knockout round. They've got a chance here, Abubakar! And somehow it does find its way past Alatour. Six for the tournament for Vincent Abubakar. A second for Cameroon. And the relief is just as strong as the delight inside the Olimbe Stadium. They need that quarter-final against Gambia in five days' time. Lovely run from Abubakar. And one-on-one -on -one with a man who usually plays outfield is never going to end well for Comoros when it's Vincent Aboubacar in front of their goalkeeper. Easy finish from the Cameroon captain, who was already full of confidence. Looked the best of the lot, but uh, there's a lot of work still to come you fancy from some of the bigger teams of Cameroon storming now they are going to put this one to bed who had the last touch there I fancy Abu Bakr there might have been a defender ahead of him but he's going to claim it Vansa Abu Bakr with a second of the night Cameroon it's been really looked to have lost it here in the second it looks as if Abu Bakr got the touch ahead of the defender we'll certainly credit him with that goal he deserves it this time, Mooney with a cross. Yeah, Abu Bakr with a touch. Cameroon, three, Ethiopia, one. That's Abu Bakr with four goals now in this tournament. Marching on to the golden boot as well, and we're only on day number five.